everyone, welcome to the cookie tutorial where flavor and design collide. Today is the last day of these 12 days of Christmas cookies and treats. Thank you very much for you that have been watching these videos. I am super happy and I hope that you learned something new with them. And in this last video, I am going to share with you how to make mendiants that are a traditional French confection that is served during Christmas Eve. And I hope that you like this delicious treat and let's get started. Mendiants are a traditional French confection that is served on Christmas Eve as part of the 13 desserts. Please check in the description of this video for the list of the ingredients. And the colors of their ingredients are reminiscent of the original rows of the mendicant orders of friars in the church during the Middle Ages. And the Franciscans are represented by raisins or sultanas, the Carmelites with the hazelnuts or walnuts, the Dominicans with the white cut almonds, and the Augustinians are represented with the figs and the cranberries. I'm going to show you some mendiants that I prepared before so you can see how they look. I just take these out of the freezer. I just want to show you that if you don't like the toppings that I am going to put on the mendiants, you can use your favorite dry fruit or uh, seeds and this is how they're going to look. They are very special treat, particularly if you love chocolate. One important thing is that when you're going to make these treats, you need to put your baking tray in the freezer and also with your parchment paper. So when you are ready to put the chocolate, they can uh, get harder faster. So I'm going to put this aside. To make these mendians, the only thing that you need to do is to prepare chocolate ganache. Please click the link above for the tutorial. A small saucepan, you're going to heat the heavy cream until it reaches a temperature of 175 degrees. Then you're going to pour it over the chocolate and the butter and you're going to stir until it is until all the chocolate is melted. Now that everything is very nice and smooth, I am going to add a little bit of Grand Manier and sea salt. I just take out this from the freezer, so we are going to start making the little medium. I like to use these kind of spoons, dollop some of the chocolate into circles about 2 inches and a half in diameter, smoothing the chocolate with the back of the spoon. And before the chocolate starts to set, you need to add the toppings. Let the chocolate set at room temperature about 30 minutes. If your kitchen is warm, you can put them in the refrigerator before serving them. You can enjoy them right away or you can put it in an airtight container in the refrigerator and they will last for about two weeks. Okay guys, I hope that you like this tutorial and if you like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new here in my channel, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button. And see you uh, maybe at the end of this year or until next, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the coming videos, but I'm pretty sure that I will do something nice and sweet. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year guys. Thank you all so much. Bye bye.